Oh yeah, the iPad 2. Released in 2011 and weighing over 21 ounces, this iPad brought a lot of fun into my life. If you're like me, you probably have one sitting around somewhere, but you don't have the 30 pin charger for it. You may have downloaded or tried to download some apps on it, but found that it wasn't compatible and you really didn't have much use for it. Welcome to 12 things you can still do with an old iPad 2. You've probably done this. You go to the app store, you attempt to download an app and you get a notification that tells you the iPad is not compatible. Why is this happening? This iPad runs iOS 9 and it cannot update. When you go to the app store and try to download an app, it's trying to download the newest version of that app. To download a workable version, log into iCloud, log into your Apple ID in the app store and go to the purchase tab. Here, you'll see every app you've ever downloaded. Tap the cloud next to each app to download and it will download the workable version of that app. If there's an app you're not seeing, go on to a newer Apple device, download them there and they will automatically save to that Apple ID and you can still go into the purchase tab on the iPad 2 and download the apps there. It doesn't work for all applications, but it does for these 12 and that's why I've made this video. 12 things you can do with an old iPad 2. Also, please subscribe. So let's jump into this first with FaceTime. Instead of letting this device sit in your drawer or throwing away, it's a great coffee table FaceTime device. Resolution isn't great, but boy, look at that smile. Now you know, FaceTime works. Next up is Notes. A Bluetooth keyboard hooks up just fine, and it's not bad to have a notepad. You can also use this as a second monitor, although I do not include that in this video. So now you know, Notes work fine. I can also imagine my younger nieces and nephews would absolutely love this. There is definitely use for it. Next up is going to be Facebook Messenger. I'm not going to wait for the messages to load because I don't want you to see my personal messages, but it works well and I want you to know that. Next up is going to be Slither.io. Don't download this game or you will suffer from Slither.io addiction illness. You basically start as a little tiny worm turning other worms into stardust, and as you eat their stardust, you grow into a larger worm. You can play in an online setting against other people, or you can play against artificial intelligence or the computer. It runs iOS 9 with no frame rate issues. I love it. You can also customize your own little snakes. Very cool. Another fantastic game is Candy Crush that runs on iOS 9 on this old iPad, and it runs very smoothly with no lag or frame rate issues. That's pretty exciting. I also made a killer move right here that caused me to win the entire level. Going into our next app is going to be the Calculator app. I remember using this a ton on my old iPod. This runs smoothly as well. As always, there's a scientific version, a fraction version. There's even currency exchange, and you can do custom skins. I like the color purple, so there's that. Next up, as I had mentioned, Facebook runs smoothly as well. I'm on Facebook Marketplace to hide my security here but it runs smooth. You could message fine because Messenger works and it's a good coffee table Facebook scrolling tablet. Now I'm not telling you to go buy an iPad 2. I'm telling you ways that you can still use that iPad 2 that's probably sitting in a drawer somewhere that you haven't used for a while. Now this application next is awesome. Netflix is still running on an iPad 2, which was released in 2011 on iOS 9. This is extremely impressive. By the way, Black Crab, the new Netflix release, I highly recommend watching this. But guys, look at the screen res. There's not a lag. The sound is great. It's super impressive that Netflix still works on a device like this. And for Netflix alone, it's a great device to have in the kitchen or on the coffee table to catch up on a few episodes. It's very cool that this even works. I was pretty excited about that. Follow the process at the beginning of the video to download those apps. The next app is going to be the camera app. You're not gonna start a photography business, but imagine giving this to your younger nieces or nephews or younger children and having them go around taking photos. It's an absolute blast and it does the job. You can zoom in, you could do some light editing or drawing on the photos as well. Also on my iCloud from taking photos with higher resolution cameras, it's a great viewing application too. You can also take video, but I didn't include that in this video. So camera works and it's kind of fun. Coming in at number 10, you can use this as an e-reader. Books application works well. Look at all this empty space. The book I'm currently on is How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Highly recommended. It's very easy to view text on this. You can zoom in as well if needed. 
And I also haven't even mentioned that you can go into the library and there is a working version with tons and tons and tons of titles. So if anything, you can use this as a coffee table e-reader, great solution there. Coming in at number 11 is a workaround for YouTube. You have to go through Safari, but as you can see, YouTube works okay. And all the features are working on the Safari version. YouTube app is no longer working. You can also go into landscape mode, works just fine. The controls are gonna be different, like for skipping, it's gonna be on the very top right here. Again, very, very responsive, impressed with that. And for volume, it's gonna be on the bottom left. Or you could use a volume rocker against the bezel. And last but not least, and probably the most useful, is the use of iMessage. Here I'm messaging my lovely wife, telling her that I'm testing an old iPad, and she did receive it and respond. There you guys have it. There are 12 applications that you can still use on an old iPad too. If you found this useful in any degree, please subscribe to my channel and I will do my absolute best to keep providing the world's best content on the world's best channel. Thank you guys so much for watching.